We need to dethrone the king. We need to nationalize coal. There is an ener energy reduction bill in Frankfurt that got voted down. What the energy reduction bill was going to do over a certain period of time, a percentage of our energy would have to come from other resources besides coal, oil, and nuclear. And it was only like 10%. It was pretty reasonable. But Frankfurt said no because the coal industry owns Frankfurt. All coal ash dumps don't need to be wet. They need to be completely dried out. We don't need any more sludge ponds. The coal ash dumps need to be sealed with a double liner of clay underneath so that there are no toxins seeping into the earth. There needs to be groundwater monitoring so that way if there are toxins being spilled into the earth, they would be able to detect it and stop it before it gets out of control. And if King Cole doesn't want to play by the rules, if they don't want to institute safety regulations, if they don't want folks to unionize or if they don't want them to pay a good wage, then we need to nationalize our coal. Just recently, Kentucky Utilities was bought out by Pennsylvania Power and Light. And that went from a German CEO, Eon. Eon was a German company, so we are making, first we were making the Germans rich, now we're making the Pennsylvanians rich. Somebody needs to make sure that Kentuckians are getting rich. We need to eradicate poverty, fix the economy, and keep Kentucky working. We need to assemble a team of grant writers to get them to aggressively go after every grant opportunity that is out there. So far, the 61st District has missed opportunities when it comes to technology, nursing, libraries, welcome centers, justice grants, drug rehabilitation, and women's shelters. Are we saying we don't need women's shelters? Are we saying that we don't need new welcome centers? We don't need more money for our libraries? And that's Grant County, Owen County, and Gallatin County. None of them have got, have wrote any plans for the Obama stimulus fund. We need to go after that money. We need o Obama bucks so that way we can have public works projects, build new schools, build new roads, build new bridges, build new hospitals. Especially here in Gallatin County, we need a hospital. Unemployment benefits and food stamps need to stay in full operation. Our people need to be fed. Housing should be a guaranteed right. There's no reason anybody should be homeless. Minimum wage should be increased to $11 an hour. So that way we can actually make a livable wage. And so we can actually live above the poverty line. And we need to freeze rent rates. Kentucky needs universal health care. Everybody needs some coverage. Universal health care is good for everybody. It's good for the workers because it makes you more healthy and it's good for the business owner or management because you got healthy workers. Plus health care is a human right. Every other industrialized nation in the world has got universal health care, but not America. Not the wealthiest country in the world. And that's why we got 8.3 million kids that have no coverage. Kentuckians need to be allowed to buy prescription pills, even if it's in foreign markets, uh, so they can get it for a cheaper price. Right now that's illegal, because the pharmaceutical companies own our politicians. We need universal college. Any person that wants to pursue higher education should be allowed to do so. Kentucky is 44th in, the, in America for education. We can do better. Georgia's got a program where anybody, any citizen who wants to go can go. Our college tuition rates need to be frozen for the next five years. That's the way you stop them from increasing tuition. You pass a law. The Kentucky Rebels. We need to increase our revenue. We need to make more money for Kentucky. And I got an idea. Now, most people are afraid of new ideas, but this idea would bring a professional sports team into Kentucky and make it the people's team. So, say the NBA brought a team in, we'd call it the Kentucky Rebels, and that team, we could vote on the head coach, and we could vote on the starting five players. That would increase voter turnout, that would make people more interested in government and politics, and it would make us money. And it would give our UK Wildcats and our U of L Cardinals a place where they can work after college so they can stay home and make a career here in the Bluegrass State. I mean, Boone County owns golf courses. Why not invest in a sport that everybody's interested in? And we need to legalize marijuana. Gatewood Galbraith, 
If Kentucky legalized marijuana, the state of Kentucky overall would make one trillion dollars. One acre, we would make 1.3 million dollars for one acre. So one farmer could make a million dollars in a year's time. Kentucky would go from being one of the poorest states in the country to one of the richest states. We'd go from poor to wealthy. We'd go from not having enough to having way too much. If we're progressive enough to legalize marijuana, California's doing it. California's gonna make all that money that Kentucky would have made if, if we did it first. Right now, Kentucky is the number one state in America for the number of cancer deaths that we're having. So why are our people dying of cancer more than any, any other state? And then the one remedy, the one cure that we have for cancer, marijuana, they're not legalizing. Are you trying to kill us? Are you trying to get us all to die of cancer? Is that why you're against the legalization of marijuana? And the way we would legalize marijuana is we would put that issue on the ballot and then let the people decide. Don't let Frankfurt tell you what you think about this issue. Let the people decide whether or not they want marijuana to be legalized. Yeah, okay, Mr. Adams. The city of Warsaw has 500 poor people. Gallatin County's got 1,000 poor people. That's 1,500 poor people in Gallatin County. There's 5,000 poor people in your district. 5,000 poor people, Mr. Adams, have been knocking on your door for the last 20 years. This is just the same old song and dance. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You pretend like you care about the kids, but you don't care about the poor kids. You liar.